Hey y'all, I'm really excited to be sitting down and filming this video today because today we are gonna be trying a whole phase of new products. So I hopped on over to my girl Ulta and I picked up quite a few products from the brand Makeup Revolution that I wanna sit down and try out for y'all today. Firstly, I picked up two foundations. I picked up their stick foundation, which is really popular on the internet. And then I picked up their new Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. I'm gonna be using the stick foundation for this review. I'm going to be reviewing this part in a part two review. I saw online that they actually had a contour kit that was kind of like the Kim Kardashian contour kit so you get a highlighting stick a contour stick and then a double-sided brush sponge applicator so I ordered that I'm waiting for it to come in still and I'm gonna do a review on this foundation when that comes in in addition to the foundation I also picked up another concealer so this is their conceal and define full coverage concealer I already used this one the shade C8 in my last video and I like to use that for under eye correcting I also picked up the shade C10 because they had it in stock today and this is just a nice kind of like close to my skin color that I'm gonna use to cover up my breakouts I also picked up two highlighters I picked up their jelly highlighter and their liquid highlighter. I picked up the Revolution baking powder. I picked up their powder contour kit and this is in the shade light medium. It does come in multiple shades. And in addition, I also picked up this Revolution lip kit and this is in the shade the Echelon. Makeup Revolution is really known for being able to make dupes of high-end products and this is their take on the Kylie lip kit. So I'm really excited to try this even though I've never tried a Kylie lip kit product. Before we get into anything, just a quick disclaimer. I didn't pick up any priming or brow products. So I did just go ahead and prime my face using my Benefit Professional and then I went ahead and did my brows real quick with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil and I just used the shade 5. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and test this foundation. So right off the bat, I'm really in love with this packaging. It's really nice and sleek. I love this color combo, how they have this sort of creamy pale base. You pull it up and you get this copper tone barrel here with the product. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this all over my face and unfortunately I'm breaking out over here. I don't know if you guys can see it that well on camera. I'm trying to figure out my lighting situation. My videos have been kind of a little overexposed recently. On like my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in just using my damp beauty blender. I will say this foundation did apply really smoothly. I didn't feel like it was pulling at my skin or anything and it's blending out just as smoothly. So this product does look like it oxidizes a little bit, but that's okay because I feel like when I applied it, it was just a tad light for my skin tone and now I feel like it oxidized right down to the perfect tone. All right. So that's how we're looking with one layer. Up close, it looks really nice. It's not settling into the pores or anything. I really like the finish of this. I feel like it's coming across looking a little matte on camera, but in real life, this is more of like a satiny finish. It's not uncomfortably dry matte, but it's not a dewy finish either. It's just a nice satiny finish. Let me get in a little closer so you guys can see this situation. So that is what we're looking like with one layer. Nice and seamless. Now I do want to just see if this cakes up if you build it on. I want to see also if it's going to give me a little extra coverage around here. I'm just going to do a second layer, but I'm going to apply it a little lighter than I did the first. Okay, so definitely this is built you don't have to worry about this foundation caking up if you need to apply a second layer of it I feel like the second layer actually kind of like blurred my skin out a little bit more than the first not just like the tone But also the texture. I don't know how to explain it. So that's my face with two layers As you can see everything is just nice and smoothed out. It just looks like really my skin is really nice and smoothed out the Pigmentation is pretty even all over. I still have some peeking through here But I feel like that's just because this was recently an active breakout So there's still some texture going on here But on the other parts of my face that have hyperpigmentation that weren't necessarily textured this covered that up really well So now I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer So I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade C8 which is the lighter shade I have and I'm gonna apply that to the under eyes just to brighten up that area a little bit I picked up the shade because it kind of has like a little bit of a peachy undertone as well, which is really nice for correcting the under eye circles. Peach colored products are good for neutralizing bluish purplish colors like you would get with under eye bags. Then I'm gonna take my C10 and I'm just gonna see if it can cover up these spots. And this is the shade I picked up that's more of like a close match to my skin. It's also the same shade as the foundation, at least by the name, but I'm not sure if it's actually the same exact shade. So I applied C10 to my spots, C8, C under eyes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender again. I'm gonna take a clean edge I'm just gonna buff this into the under eye. And then I'm gonna use this Morphe M173 brush. This is just a nice flat buffing brush. I'm gonna take that and just kind of buff the concealer into the spots rather than blending it out with the BD blender because I don't wanna take product off the skin. I just wanna buff it in. Girl, this is gonna confuse me. I wanna make sure I have to read the shade before I apply it. I'm gonna be applying my highlighting shades with these pimples. So that is how we're looking with foundation and concealer. You can still see these spots a little bit, but that's more of the texture than the hyperpigmentation and the 
the redness peeking through. So now I'm gonna take the powder I bought. So this is the luxury baking powder and this is in the shade banana. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap some into the cap. And then I'm gonna take my e.l.f. Total Face Brush and I'm gonna pinch it so I can really get it in there because it's a small cap and just pick up the powder. And then I'm gonna dust off the excess and just lightly focusing mainly on the T-zone. I'm gonna brush it all over my face and I just wanna go ahead and set my face so I can prep it for powder contour. And now that I've set the whole face, I wanna go ahead and bake. I'm not usually big on baking. I don't really even use powder and makeup that much, but you know, for the sake of the tutorial, I might as well test its abilities. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my beauty blender again. I just pick up some of the powder and I'm just gonna apply it to the under eyes. I don't know if I'm applying too much, not enough. This is my first time actually baking like this. Someone help me. All right, so I've applied the baking powder. This is supposed to use the heat of your body to sort of set your makeup and bake it over the course of a couple minutes. So while that's baking, let's go ahead and get into contouring. So like I said, I picked up their powder contour kit and this is in the shade light medium. As you can see here, we had a little accident, but that's okay. So we have eight shades here. We have two highlighting shades, this really bright highlighting shade here. We have a darker warm tone to powder over here, which would be my bronzer. Then we have three cool tone powders down here that would be more suited for contouring. And then we have a banana powder over here. I'm gonna take my e.l.f. angled blush brush. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick up the lightest contour shade we have going on here. I'm gonna tap off the excess. And I'm gonna find the natural shape of my cheekbone. I'm gonna take the brush and just sculpt right below that. And then I'm gonna blend up. You wanna make sure that with the contour, you're blending upwards and not below the line that we contoured because you really wanna add lift to the face. As you can see, that one swipe was actually really pigmented, even though I dusted off a lot of the powder. This is my first time powder contouring, so I'm really scared to go in too heavy with this, but I'm gonna just take a tiny bit more, and I'm gonna just strengthen this just a little bit. I'm gonna leave it right like that, because I'm afraid I'm gonna go in way too heavy with this. But as you can see, it just gives you a nice sort of sculpted look. I'm actually surprised that the lightest shade managed to work. So now I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that warmer bronzy shade tap off the excess and I'm just gonna apply it to the forehead make sure that you're blending this into your hairline so it looks natural and not like you're wearing anything I'm gonna also blend that down the temples my only complaint so far about all these makeup revolution products I picked up is that none of them have a built-in mirror but other than that this is bomb and I'm bronzing my forehead instead of sculpting it because I do want to give it some definition but I don't necessarily want to make it look smaller I don't feel like I have a terribly huge forehead and whatever's left over I'm just gonna blend into the contour so here's this side of the face now Nice and sculpted. Just to really, really snatch up this contour, I'm gonna take a little bit more of the baking powder on the beauty blender. Make sure you use a really sharp edge. I'm just gonna carve out the bottom of this contour. Just to really sharpen it up and have it looking defined. So I'm gonna let that bake while I go ahead and start on the other cheek. Y'all, this is my first time doing this, but I actually don't think I'm doing a terrible job. Who knows how it's gonna turn out, but I feel like a real MUA. Okay, I definitely cut this cheek a little higher than I did this cheek, but that's okay. We're really just playing with this. I just want to see how this performs, but so far I'm loving how this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the e.l.f. Total Face Brush again, just make sure I tap off all the extra powder, and I'm gonna go ahead and just sweep the excess powder from under my eyes. Oh my god, bitch, I should have picked up a mascara. My eyelashes look like they disappeared. So this did a good job of brightening up the under eye area, having that all nice and snatched, making me look like I'm awake and I don't hate myself. But I will say she is a little dry, and I'm not sure if that's just because I applied too much powder or because the powder itself is just extra drying, but hopefully I'll fix itself with a setting spray. I'm not quite ready to remove the under contour bake yet because I just applied that. So while I'm letting that bake, I'm gonna go ahead and test these two highlighters. So first I'm gonna take their liquid highlighter and this is in the shade Champagne. So this packaging is really reminiscent to me of the cover effects illuminating highlighting drops. So here's what it looks like. It's just a nice champagne-y, oh my god, I look so pale. But anyways, it's just this nice champagne-y rose gold color. So I'm just gonna really take a very light drop and just apply that to the high point of my cheek. And then I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques Expert face brush I'm just gonna buff that in and just see what it do with just that little drop. So as you can see, just that one drop, it's like, it's not super pigmented, it's not super highlighted, but it's not subtle either. It gives us this nice, 
glow. I'm just gonna take another small drop and just see how that layers and see if I can build up the intensity a little bit. And okay, it blends into skin really well. It's nice and seamless. It doesn't look like I have any product sitting on here and it just gives this nice iridescent dewy glow. I really love that look actually. Nice ethereal glow going on over here, dew city. Now let's go ahead and try this side. So this side I'm gonna go ahead and take the jelly highlighter. This is really reminiscent of the Farsali jelly highlighter. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. I used to be obsessed with this girl on here, Farah Dukai. I don't even know if she makes videos still anymore on this platform, but she does make videos on Instagram doing her makeup and she's always, I swear, always using this. So I'm just gonna take a tiny bit like that. I'm taking a different Real Techniques expert face brush. I'm just gonna buff that in and see what it do. All right, so that one buffed in. Same situation as this one over here. I feel like they buffed in about the same, but this one's a little harder to work in and it's tackier. So I'm just gonna see how it layers. I feel like the liquid highlighter would be better if you want a more precise application. You wanna be really precise with which areas you're applying it to, whereas the jelly highlighter I feel like would be better if you're not as picky about the highlight and you just want that sort of all over glowy look. In addition, the jelly highlighter was a little tacky and a little bit harder to work in than the liquid highlighter, but all in all, both of these are really good highlights. I really like the color of them, the finish, and these also blend really well over powders, as you can see. And I'm just gonna take this and run it down my nose as well. Well, I'm not even gonna use a brush for this. I'm just gonna blend it in with my fingers. I, really, I actually really like how this looks when you buff it in with a finger. I feel like the jelly highlighter would be better to blend it in with a finger than with a brush. And that's kind of how I see Farah using it when she uses it on Instagram. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just dust off the remaining banana powder so I don't look too crazy. Oh my gosh, I feel like there's still something left from this line. And I know there's not, which is really sad. Oh my gosh, wait, I can't forget. And the final part of the look, we're gonna be testing out this lip kit. This is in the shade Echelon. So I picked up the shade Echelon, which according to the internet is a dupe for the Kylie lip kit in the shade Candy K. I have no idea. I have no frame of reference. I've never used a Kylie lip product. I'd be glad to try one out if you want to send me one for free though. So I'm going to take the lip liner and I'm going to line my lips. So I went ahead and lined the lips and I'm going to go ahead and take the liquid lipstick and just apply that. All right, so lip kit's dried down. This is the final color. And the color is not too bad. It's not really a color that I would personally like, but you know, it applied really smoothly over the lips. It dried over the lips really nice as well. It wasn't tacky or anything, and it dried down to a really smooth finish all over the lips. Obviously, it settled into my lines a little bit, but it doesn't chunk up or coagulate or anything like that. It's really nice and smooth. Oh, you know what? I gotta set this with a setting spray. So again, I did not pick up a setting spray product by Makeup Revolution, so I'm just gonna take my MAC Fix Plus Prep and Prime setting spray and set everything with that. So that is the finished makeup look. Everything is nice and set. I know my contour is a little heavy over here compared to the side. I'm gonna need y'all to not call me out on that. This is my first time ever doing a powder contour, cut a bitch some slack. So let me just get my thoughts on all the products. So for the foundation, I love the foundation. It's a nice satiny finish. I live for a satin finish foundation. I don't love when foundations are too matte, and I don't mind dewy foundations, but no, my skin type, they go from dewy to greasy about halfway through the day. So I'm really living for the satiny finish of the foundation. I also love the coverage that the foundation gives. It's a nice full coverage foundation. It did a good job of covering up all my hyperpigmentation and discoloration besides these two spots down here. But like I said, this is more of a textural issue than a hyperpigmentation problem. I do have some darker spots on my face that aren't textured that it was able to cover up without a problem. As to the concealer, the concealer was nice and creamy. Not too thick, but not watery either, and did a good job of brightening up the under eye as well as to cover up these spots, even though I feel like I kind of moved it a little bit doing the powder contour, but that's okay. The banana baking powder did a good job of brightening up the under eye as well as setting all the makeup under there. In addition, it did a good job of snatching up my cheekbones, baking under the contour. As for the contour kit itself, it does have a very nice range of colors in there. I love that it gives you eight different colors to work with. As for the highlights, I love them both, both the liquid and the jelly highlighter. I feel like the liquid highlighter was a lot easier to apply. It blends in really well with a brush, it gives a nice skin like finish. It doesn't sit on top of the skin. You can't really tell that I'm wearing product. It just looks like natural dew of my skin. The jelly highlighter was a little tackier. It was a little harder to apply and it didn't do the best job of applying with a brush. I would suggest with that one, maybe to use your finger to apply that. As for the lip kit, it's just not my favorite color, but color aside, it dried down really quickly. It didn't crease. It just applied really nice and smoothly over the lips and it wasn't tacky or anything. It wasn't sticky. That is my full review of this Makeup Revolution line. If y'all are interested 
interested in any of these products, you want to check them out for yourselves, I would suggest go ahead and buying them. Honestly, the drugstore has been blessing us with wonderful products these past couple months, and Makeup Revolution is no exception. I am in love with this brand. I definitely am looking forward to trying out a lot more of their products in the future. I'm really excited for this cream contour kit to arrive so I can do a demo for you guys on that and show you how that works. That is my final review on these products here that I just showed you today. If y'all like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe for more content in the future and click the bell button so you get a notification every time I upload. Leave a comment below letting me know what you like, what you dislike, letting me know what types of videos y'all want to see in the future, y'all want to see reviews on certain products, you want to see story times, you want to see me try a certain look. Just leave a comment below and I'll hopefully get around to doing it and I'll be back shortly with a new video. Bye!